In less than five minutes, I'm going to step through the process of taking an archive from a Blackboard site, unpacking that using a program called Be Free, and then simply dropping and dragging that into a Sakai Resources folder. So we start in Blackboard, in the site that you want to, cut to uh, extract to Sakai. Go to the control panel for that site, and go to Archive Course. We're going to create an archive. In order to do that, you'll need to click the Archive button. I've already done that, so I have an archive generated here. When your archive's finished processing and is ready to download, you'll get an email message to let you know. So I've already downloaded this to my desktop. So what I'm going to do now is actually switch to the program called Be Free. Before I do that, though, just to let you know, the easiest way to download Be Free is to simply type Be Free into a search engine engine and here in Google it's the first hit that we get. This was developed at UNC with the express purpose of taking content from Blackboard and extracting it into a format that's reusable in other places including Sakai. So we're going to switch to Be Free now. I have that open and we're going to find that archive that I had saved and we're going to pull it in for processing. So while it's processing, it's figuring out what can, materials can be usefully extracted, um, what files are there that you've uploaded, and uh, organizing it into the folders that you created in Blackboard. So these materials are all extractable that have been checked. Um, other areas, and you won't be surprised by this, send a email, for example, not extractable. So those are extractable. We're going to go to File and we're going to choose Extract as Files Folders. And I'm going to create a new folder on my computer desktop to store these in for the moment. So once that's finished processing, and it really doesn't take very long at all, you'll have the folder that you just created. So what we're going to do next is we're going to switch to Sakai and I've got a new site here. I'm going to navigate to the resources area and I'm going to get back to the default view for resources here and you can see that I've actually added to resources a just a new simple text document. In order to prime the pump to move your materials into Sakai resources you're going to need to just create a simple text document and I did that um, actually from the menu here under actions. Um, sorry, under Add, Create Text Document. Okay, so I did that. Now what I'm going to do is go to Upload, Download, Multiple Resources. And this is going to give you a URL for each resources area that you have. You have one for each Sakai site. So you're going to take this URL and copy it, and then you're going to go to your computer, whether you're using a Mac or whether you're using a Windows machine, and you're going to go and you're going to map a network drive using that URL. If you have any problems with this at all, you can contact 962HELP and they'll help step you through that process. Now I've created my map network drive, Sakai Resources, right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my computer desktop where I have my Be Freed materials from my archive file. Um, actually, it's the Sakai site right there. And I'm going to open these up and I see what I have here in terms of my folders and the files they're in. So I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to copy them and I'm going to select Sakai, my Sakai site here that I've mapped and I'm going to click paste. And let me drag this down here so you can see it. You can see that it's just absolutely copying all these materials to that Sakai site. So let's switch in fact back to the Sakai site so we can see what's going on here. So I'm going to click on the little refresh button there and look it's already pulling in those folders and files. Just that easy I was able to uh, to extract those materials and copy and paste them in. Now granted I've had quite a bit of practice doing this so you're not going to actually be able to do this in less than five minutes like I have but it really shouldn't take you that long and perhaps the most difficult part of this will be mapping your network drive so if you get stuck as soon as you get stuck go for help call for not call 962 help for assistance.